I'm with Denise Crosby, and thank you for taking the time to answer a few questions. Um, uh, I was at your panel late yesterday, it was lovely. Thank you. And how do you enjoy the con so far? Is everyone oh, being nice? Everybody's been great, yeah, it's always just a, d a delight. I think it's been a big success. And I, I love how you are kind of part of the fandom and the, you are one of the people who are outgoing to the people who are still supporting Star Trek and things like that. So um, we talked about Trekkies and whether there's a chance there's going to be a Trekkies 3. I would really uh, like to. I'm, uh, I'm working on some ideas and probably will have a better sense of it in the next month. So uh, for, still for you, the fandom of Star Trek, is, it is something special, not only for you, but kind of among the fandoms, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it's sort of the granddaddy of them all, yeah. you know? It started with Star Trek. Yeah, with people making their costumes, writing fan fiction. Absolutely. What else is it, uh, are you up to right now? Where can we see you next? Oh, well, um, I've just done a couple of uh, guest parts, one on uh, how to get away with murder, mm -hmm. and the other one on... Uh, in CIS LA and I'm just about to start working on a, a show called Suits. Oh, okay. So yeah. we're going to see you there soon. Yeah, it's lovely. Absolutely. And um, of course, always, people are always going to ask about um, Tasha Ya character and the Sailor character and how you came back. And uh, the reason that you, uh, that you came back was, was that you're looking at the show and thinking they've matured. So I give them another chance and, or how were you approached at the time for coming back? Well, uh, the the first way I came back was in yesterday's Enterprise. Uh, they wrote a, a tremendous script and gave it to me, and that allowed Tasha to be back on the show for that particular episode. Then it was my idea that sort of she had a daughter, and it developed that way. It was your idea, and they ran with it just. Yeah, they did, surprisingly so. <laughs> <laughs> and in the canon, she's she's uh, come very far. So yes, you talked about that. You did your voiceovers for Star Trek Online, and now she's Empress of Romulus. Yes, yes, Empress of Romulus. And um, the planet has been destroyed in the game. So she's trying to um, uh, trying to strategically um, find a way to re sort of group and get her people back together. Okay, and are we going to see you maybe in, in more things that are kind of have a connection to Star Trek? Either people are, of course, watching for who's going to be on the Picard series, but also like the Orville, which is a huge homage to the Star Trek. So would you be open to do something like that? Oh, absolutely, yes. I hope, I hope they, I, you know, I, of course, if they ask me, I will. Okay, so I'd love to see you on both of uh, those. Thank you so much.